Welcome to another Financial Friday. I'm in my new house. Um, sorry it's super echoey, but I am here at the house today to do some work and I have been getting all hot and sweaty and I am wearing my normal work clothes. And I figured before I got too hot and sweaty, I wanted to share my Financial Friday with you guys. I feel like I've addressed this in every single Financial Friday since I purchased the house. Yes, I will go into all of that. I just literally have not had time to go into the detail that I want to go into when I'm talking about my mortgage. That is something that I don't take lightly and I want to make sure that it's a really good quality video for you guys rather than just like zipping through it because Honestly, a lot of my videos recently have been me zipping through things because I'm just so busy. I'm in the middle of doing Vloon. I'm coming here every day and doing stuff. I'm working like crazy at my other job. So it's just been a little intense, but it's gonna get better. And I figured I would show you some stuff. I recently discovered this place. It's like a dollar store. It's called Five Below. I don't know if you have any in your area. Um, I didn't even know that this existed and I was driving by one day and I was like, what is that place? So I looked it up online and it's a dollar store where everything is $5 and below. The local one that I went to doesn't have a ton of like kitchen-y kind of stuff, but they do have a lot of like home furnishings. And so I hit up that section. All the stuff is down below here. I figured why take it all the way back to my parents' house, film a video, and then just bring it back. I might as well just film the video here. And this is the first inaugural video in the new place. I mean, besides the vlog. All right, so I got a lot of different storage items there and I absolutely love the dollar store for storage items. I know in one of the vlogs I had shown like these containers from Container Store. I think it was like the vlog from Saturday. Those are really expensive, you guys. I know I spent a lot of money on those a long time ago and that was before I got in the Dave Ramsey plan, so don't worry about that. But moving forward, I would rather not spend that kind of money in just, you know, organizers or bins or something like that that's just gonna like sit in the laundry room or sit in my closet and they're not, I mean, I want them to be beautiful and functional, but yet I don't wanna pay an arm and a leg for it. I don't wanna pay $20 for a bin, you know what I'm saying? So definitely check your dollar stores or like five below like I'm showing you now. So let's start with a big bag. All right. Here is a big bag, five below. I've got a couple big bags. There are a few different bins that I got. Oh, let's see here. And I don't know where I'm gonna use these yet because I just don't know. But I figured that some of these would be nice in the laundry room because I've got like the wire racking. All right, so here is the first bin. It's a nice little circular bin with a like linen burlap inside actually you know, it's not burlap it's linen it's not like rough like burlap this one was five dollars and this is a 10 by five and three quarters so i really liked this and it kind of goes along with the kind of cottagey vibe i'm going for it's like cottagey farmhouse industrial that's kind of my vibe um everything kind of black white neutral grays tans topes you know neutral stuff um i am a person just by the way sidebar i'm a person that gets really sick of things really fast so if i pick really classic things i know i won't get sick of it so if i'm say like really into purple for some reason which i don't know if i've ever been into purple but if i have been i know i get sick of it really fast so i'm trying to pick like really really classic things like you know, my paint for my wall and all of that stuff too. Like I'm trying to pick really classic things that I know me personally, I won't get sick of because I don't want to change it out often. You know, I feel like you can do a lot with like a blanket and a pillow to like jazz up an area, you know, like either your bedroom or the living room or whatever, or even just put like a nice tablecloth on your dining table to like make it a little bit different, but just have like good bones. You know what I mean? So that's kind of my vibe, but yeah, pretty much anything black, white neutral is like something I'm just like, I gravitate towards it. So I love this bin and I thought this would be nice um, either in the pantry or in the laundry room, but I'm not sure when I put it yet. And then I got two of these. These are like, oof, let's see here. Let's see if I can show these properly. These are like those like chicken wire ones, but they are black or, you know, they're almost like a dark, no, they're black. I thought maybe they were like kind of a dark brown. Let me pull them out see one of them properly. All right, so this is what the bin looks like. Nice little linen on the inside. And this is a really neutral color. It's not bright white. It's like more of a like creamy like oatmeal color. 
and then this one is a storage bin 11 by 11 by eight and a half and this one was also five dollars i think what i would want to do especially if i put this on something that has like a hard surface not just like the wire grating that's like i'm up in the loft right now so like the laundry room was literally like right there um that just has like wire shelving so i wouldn't really worry about that but if i did end up putting these in the pantry um like for snacks or like bags of like chips or crackers or like something that's you know you need to kind of corral I would probably put like little bumpers or something on here because I just feel like this like with the wires wrapped around it would get kind of like scratchy and like scratch the surface eventually but I got two of those and then I got some of these um, these are just some white hooks I thought that these would be kind of nice on the inside or maybe even the outside of the laundry room there's bifold doors right now but I hang dry a lot of my clothing. Um, I'm wearing a Lulu Row or Lula. It's a Lula. I'm wearing a Lula Row top and bottom right now, and I don't dry these. Um, they tend to like pill up and stuff. So I have a lot of Lula Row stuff as well as other things that I don't put in the dryer. So every time I do laundry, I'm always looking for extra hooks. So I thought that these would be a great idea. Plus these were three bucks, so they're a dollar each, and they're white. So eventually I will end up either painting my doors or replacing them with white anyways. So they're gonna kind of blend in. Plus I probably won't even put these out until it's actually like laundry time and then I can just kind of hook them, you know? And then I did get some bins that were really similar to the bins that I have from Target. Um, and they might actually be from like the exact same manufacturer. I mean, I don't know. But um, I have like a little bin right here. And then this one is eight by six by two. This was $2. Super, super cute. Great for those like miscellaneous things like keys and coins and cash and like you know, those little things when you kind of like come in for the day. Thought this was nice. And then this is a little bit of a bigger one that has a little bit of a pull, so you can kind of pull it out. This one was $3 and it's 10 by 8 by 4. And yeah, I don't, I just think this is nice. It's got like this nice little kind of like chevron pattern to it. It's kind of hard because I have like a white background now, so it's kind of hard to tell but I do really like that. And I've got just a couple more items left. I got this, I just could not pass this up. I thought this was awesome. Um, this was, I think this, this doesn't have a price on it. I wanna say this was $2, it was like a special item. But um, this is just a little wood bin, 3.7 by eight by 4.75 inches. Um, yeah, it's just really basic, but it has like a little bit of like a whitewash on the bottom. You know, look at this. It kind of, it kind of looks like my wall. Isn't that funny? Um, but yeah, I thought this would be nice for the pantry. And then, um, if I do put it in the pantry, I'll probably put like the little stoppers on the, on the like bottoms of them just so it doesn't scratch it up. I'm not too worried about this. It's pretty smooth, but you know, just for the ease of like pulling things out. And I love something with a handle for the pantry because then you can like gain access a little bit easier and then like corral all the things. So if you've got like, if you're really like say into granola bars, you can just dump all your granola bars in here and then just pull them out when you wanna grab a granola bar, you know? And then the last item I got, I'm very, very excited about. I actually found this in the makeup section, but I'm actually gonna use this for all of my medicines. Uh, when I mean medicines, I mean like cold medicines and things like that. You know, you go and you, you have a cold and you buy all of this like cold medicine or whatever, you know, to, for your ailments. And then you don't end up using the whole pack. So I got a little, thing like this um, and then I'm gonna label these at some point as to what is inside each one but I thought this would be really nice um, it's a little bit longer than it is wide so I I'm pretty sure that this is gonna fit in my bathroom where I want to put it so this is a three drawer mini organizer seven and a half by six by six and a half so and this was four dollars um, I know I've seen these at Target go for like seven, eight, nine dollars, um, but I've never seen them in all white either. So, you know, like I said, I love home decor and home design, but I love things that look pretty and I'm not really that into super colorful things. So if I can find something neutral that works for me, I know I'm gonna keep it for a really long time. So I just love finding great finds like this, especially at a dollar store. So that is it for the Financial Friday today. I hope you guys enjoyed the little haul. I have 
purchased some things for the home already from like Dollar Tree and I think Family Dollar as well, but they're kind of like strewn about the house. I don't really, I mean, I know where they are, but I'm like already using some of them, so I haven't fully utilized them. But I think what I'm gonna do is I will probably show some of that organization once I start actually organizing. So that'll be in like separate videos coming up on my channel very soon once I move in. And if you have any wonderful dollar store finds, please tell me down below what your favorite dollar store finds that you found in your local area. I would love to know. I know some people have found some really cool brand name things for really cheap prices at the dollar store. So I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say, but I love finding home organization things and also like little home decor things. You never know what you're gonna find at the dollar store. It's kind of a cool little treasure hunt. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. I hope all my budgeters out there liked this little haul. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to as many of you as I can. I'm going to get back to sanding my baseboards, which is what I stopped doing because of this. So anyway, I'm going to jet, but I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.